Hello, my beautiful patrons. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, as part of a perk of being one of my patrons, you and only you are getting a full 14 card Twin Flame Energies reading for the month of August uh, 2017. So, I'm going to be doing um, the male and the female energies. And it's going to be full seven cards for each of them. So this is going to be a full 14 card reading. So this is a general reading for the feminine and masculine energies for Twin Flames for the month of August. Things can obviously differ slightly for person to person, but in a general sense, this is what's going to be going down this month. feels about right okay so we're gonna start off um, with the feminine and then we're gonna go on to the masculine so I'll do one of the feminine and then one for the masculine and so on and so forth so the essence of this reading for the feminine is going to be saunter um, discover magic as you saunter with an open heart and I want you to see this is one of my twin flame cards you can see I take this as two people on the same path but on different ends of it and they're journeying together and they're coming together underneath the moon okay so this is saying that uh, take time but allow this time that you've been taking on this journey to be a pleasant thing realize that you're learning things you need to know for the relationship they're learning things they need to learn for the relationship and you will only have that perfect union if you both can take time and take pleasure in the time of learning and growing and finding out who you are okay the essence for the male energies is wisdom seek knowledge embrace humility and cultivate wisdom so they're having a hard time letting go of the fact that they don't already know it all and that a lot of the things that they took for granted actually aren't factual that there is a lot more out there than their mind even could fathom and uh, that they're having to kind of relearn all about humanity in general. Uh, this is kind of an exciting time for them but also a very trying time for them because generally they figured like they've got it all figured out even if their life wasn't exactly perfect how they wanted it. It was still, now that they're becoming awake, things are crazy. Uh, this is opening up a whole new world for them. But they're, they're ready to learn. They're excited to learn. Okay, this is uh, the past for the feminine. We have respect. Radiate self-respect to fully share with others. Now, this is extremely important on the path to Twin Flame. Until you can wake up in the morning and put yourself together how you feel comfortable and do things for yourself that you need, like food, like, you know, if you need to sing in the morning or if you need to uh, spend time quietly sleeping coffee and reading or whatever it is you need, you need to give yourself that respect and make sure you're getting the things that you need. That is not anybody else's job. That is not your spouse's job. That is not your twin flame's job. That is not your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, anybody else's job but your own. That is your solitary job. Now, after you've gone and made yourself feel respectable and uh, all fresh and all happy and all clean and you've given yourself things like I have to have water and my water has um, essential oils in it. I usually do lemon and wild orange from doTERRA. So it's like if I need my stuff with me at all times, I need to have my bag of rocks at hand. So if I, you know, feel a certain way, I can just pull out my, you know, my lab or my feather jasper or whatever I need and feel good. Those are things that help me feel good so I can walk around in a state of self-respect and then others perceive that they should treat me with respect also. So please, radiate self-respect to fully share with others. This is bringing your twin to you. This is bringing better job opportunities to you. It's just opening up your life in, from every avenue. Okay, so our past on the male side, feminine side, or I'm sorry, masculine side. I shouldn't say male, but the masculine side, whoever identifies masculine. We have uh, love. Allow the energy of love to fill your life. Okay, this is really important. They're really struggling with self-love. Um, most of us that are twins have problems because we're empaths and stuff like that. We, we'll care for other people, but we have problems with self-love. The, the masculine energy is not any different with this. But this month is showing that they are, they're able to start identifying people care about me. It's not just friends. It's not just family. It's like, you know, strangers are opening up doors. People are, you know, asking me if I'm hungry. There's love in many different ways. Animals are approaching me. 
the male or the I'm sorry the masculine energy is coming across this and they're feeling that that love from all directions of their life this is very very important because the more they feel those aspects of love the more they call it to them including your love okay we're going to be on the feminine side and this is going to be the present grace practice your spiritual faith and live with grace all right, this is, I feel like, a confirmation more than anything for a lot of us. If you're here and you're watching this, you are practicing your spiritual faith. You're trying to better yourself from the inside out. You're practicing attitude of gratitude, self-love, and all the other things that we talk about. And it's not just my teachings or anything. This is a general philosophy from all good doers, right? That we've got to take care of ourselves in order. We have to be grace to, to send grace. So this is a, basically, I'm taking this as a confirmation. If you're the, the feminine energies, you're at this point. You've been practicing what you preach. You've been really giving it the extra effort. You've really been trying to be that graceful person that you want to be. And it is working. You're getting things in your favor. And you've noticed, you've noticed. Okay, so this is going to be the present for the masculine. And this is goals. Allow your goals to emerge through the 13 moons. Well, look at that. They like to attack it like a bear. They're going to rip right into it. But the problem with that is um, if they don't stagger their attack, meaning like if they don't um, realize that this is an endurance, not a sprint, they're not going to get anywhere. However, if the, the masculine energy is watching this, if you can take a chunk bite out of your goals a little bit at a time, really plan it out. This week I'm going to do this. Next week I'm going to do that. Or maybe it's a goal that has to do every couple days you're doing something for it. But really look at it. Look at the, the goal as a whole. How can you break it down? Don't worry about things like money, uh, supplies, stuff like that. If, if it's meant to happen, the stuff will be given to you. It will be provided for you. Don't worry about how you're going to get it. Don't focus on that. Just focus on having it. The fact that you have it and the fact that you're using it and that your goal is becoming accomplished. That sounds crazy, but I'm telling you it's going to work. Your goals will get there. 13 moons though. Okay, so you're going to be, if you attack it week by week and you allow yourself to have that time, you're going to be exactly where you want to be this time next year. Don't let the time scare you. Don't let it feel like, oh, that's so far away. I'm sorry. It's just like, it, it, let, it, let it take its time. It's for a reason that you need this time. Okay, so let that be a blessing, not, not a curse. Okay, this is going to be the, uh, the future. Wait. Essence, essence, plus, yeah, future, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be the future on the feminine. Accountability. Demonstrate that you're responsible for your actions. Okay. So this card floats two ways. I'm going to tell you right now. One of the ways it does is it says, oh, you aren't accountable for nothing. You let other people take the blame. You sit back and wait to see who cleans it up. And even if you did the problem, you're just like, mm, 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 mm. if that's you and I'm talking to you, you need to stop that because your, your twin will never be accountable for anything they do as long as you're like that. Contrary to this, if you are the person who is overly accountable, and yes, that's a thing, you're saying, I'm sorry in unwanted situations. It's not your fault. It's not your problem. You didn't create the mess. But for whatever reason, you're saying, I'm sorry. If that is you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to stop, literally. You must make people clean up their own messes. I mean, if you're dealing with a toddler, fine, whatever. But if they are at the age of understanding and ability to clean it up themselves, they need to be doing it. If this is a relationship thing where uh, so-and-so comes home from work and they're mad and you take on that, that anger, oh, I'm so sorry because so-and-so was mad at them work and you're like, da 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 By you saying I'm sorry, you're actually taking the blame. Now that person's going to have a reason to fight with you. Uh, it's also by not allowing people to clean up their own things, you're creating animosity. It's a dependence. It creates animosity. When they look around and you're not there to clean it up, they're going to blame you. Where were you? Where were you? I needed you and you weren't here. No, you should have taken care of it yourself, but they create the, the dependence. So if you're one of those people who's overly accountable, always saying I'm sorry, always going out of your way to clean up other people's messes, but be it a spill, like a literal one, or something way bigger, please, I implore you, it is time to forgive yourself of that and, and let it go. Let other people be accountable for their own actions. 
Okay, future on masculine side. Connection. Recognize that we are all connected and related. This is a great card. You see all these little people coming together? They're all holding hands in a circle. There's like unity. If your twin is not talking to you, they're starting to realize, and if they haven't already, but I'm sure they've known the whole time, but they're getting that connection that you are the soul family. Uh, you understand them. You think about things in a different way that other people don't think about things. This is that. Uh, they're going to also realize when you real when you look at similarities rather than differences, you build bridges rather than walls. And so they're trying to look back at their life and see the places where they they built bridges and the places that they built walls, and were they built in the correct spot? And they're coming to find out no, they've burnt some bridges while standing on them, <laughs> and uh, and look around in dismay as the rumble occurs, and they're just like, oh, how did this happen? But they're starting to look back and realize that there were connections that they needed to, to rebuild. So this will be new connections for the masculine energy, as well as uh, fixing past connections that were positive, that they maybe took for granted. Okay, so our blessings on the feminine is surrender. Surrender is the greatest act of faith and trust. It really, truly is. This is surrendering to the universe, saying, I let go, let God. I know that my twin is coming to me. I know that job I want is coming to me. I know whatever this bill is going to be paid. I know, you know, the, the fleas are going to die and the dog will be fine or whatever it is. You just have that faith. Now, this doesn't mean sit back and do nothing. This is saying surrender and be like a praying mantis, okay? So praying mantis doesn't strike unless they are 100% sure that they are going to get their kill. And I recently did a video on the praying mantis. I think it's on YouTube if you haven't seen it. If you can surrender, I'm like, I will, I know this money is coming. The money I need is coming. And then out of nowhere, somebody says, hey, uh, Jessica, can you uh, babysit, you know, Saturday? I got $150, but there's like five kids and blah, 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 blah. Can you handle it? And you're like, yes. And you strike on that because you ask, you got the immediate response and you receive what you get, right? But if they're like, uh, oh, you know, and they try to cheat you or something, and you just asked, don't go with it. Don't go with it because you think that the, nothing else better is going to come. The universe sometimes tests us and says, ah, you know, are you going to jump on any old little thing or are you going to wait to see the bounty I'm going to give you? So you have that trust and that faith that you're, you're going to be taken care of so good. You're not going to have to worry about it anymore. And you will. All right. Um, so your blessings for the masculine is sacredness. Honor the sacredness in everything. Well, it's about time, masculines. It's about damn time. Looking around, you finally realize where, where you are, right? You finally realize the, the opportunity you've been given. You finally realize what it means to be a twin flame, to be a, a soul connected with somebody else. I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, so continue to do what you're doing. Pick up the signs the universe is giving you. Continue to be open to hear them. Don't, so many of my masculines have this way of justifying the science. And it completely, completely tarnishes them. They're like, oh, okay, say for instance, like my red bottle. And like, say this was like a unique thing. And their their twin flame love was like a loved red glass for some reason. And oh, and the grapes, grape soda is her favorite. And this is, has it has like a grape kind of pattern on it. Part. Pardon me, everybody. Um, but pretend that, like, you know, this was just, like, sitting out somewhere, and they hadn't seen or spoken to their twin in a long time, and they see this bottle, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know, uh, Florentina would love this. It's her favorite color and her favorite pattern and her favorite thing, and I wonder where she is now. I hope she's okay. That's, like, a pro that's a positive, proper twin flame response. A, a, a masculine, general twin flame response is like, oh, that reminds me of her. Nothing. Not thinking, they're not wondering, is she thinking about me? They're not wondering, is this, is this a sign from her? I should call her. Um, I wonder if she's doing okay. To, to not react to it, that's crazy. I have to share with you a rock. Here, let me get it wet so you guys can see it. Um, I was asked to do some work with somebody to help rid their twin of their karmatic. And I said, yes, I will. But I needed some help from the universe. I didn't know what kind yet, but let me meditate on it and I will I will see. So I was up in the mountains with my twin flame. 
and um, I walked into this stream and I said, stream, please help me find something to uh, get rid of this karmatic from this twin's life. I believe it gave me my answer. So I found this rock. Can you see that? It's got a line through it. Watch, that line goes all the way around. This is a breakup stone if I ever seen one. I'm just saying. Breakup rock. I'm going to do uh, candles on each side with the people's names and some other things. And gone. I don't know if I'm going to cast it back into um, the water after. If I'm going to bury it or what I'm going to do with that yet. But I'll be guided on what to do when the time comes. But the point is. That's honoring the sacredness. I ask a question. I get a direct response. If uh, the twin masculines are finally starting to look and, and see things like that. They're starting to say, oh, is she thinking of me? And then they see the bottle that reminds him of her or whatever. So that's, that's beautiful because for a long time they were blind to those things and they're starting to open their eyes to it. Okay. Possibilities and unexpected gifts on the feminine. Harmony, the song of communion. Yay. Look at these are people coming together. Yay. I love it. So, um... This is amazing. You're, some of you are still with people who possibly aren't your true clan, your true family. Not the family you were born into, but the family you should keep for the rest of your life. The people that you've picked up around here and there. Some of it can be your true family, but some of it is definitely people you just came across. So you're noticing that. You're noticing, well, these people don't jive with me. I feel like I'm a black sheep, kinda. I feel like uh, they don't really understand me. And for a lot of you, you're starting to come across a true harmonizing family. People who really care about you. People who seem to understand you. Who have your back. Who really um, have the same way of thinking as you. And who can build, you can build off of them and they can build off of you. So this is epic and amazing. I absolutely love it. For those of you who are kind of lonely right now, don't worry. Those people are coming in your life. Your uh, possibilities and unexpected gifts from masculine is tenderness practice tenderness to soften harshness so this is the masculines and they're inside of this little protection bubble and there's people trying to give them love followed by a wall followed by people trying to give them love followed by another wall and so on and so on and so on so they have these layers of hurt they've opened up x amount of times people have hurt them so they close up they build a giant wall somebody tries to hurt them or they, they let themselves open if somebody hurts them they build a giant wall this is them finally deciding no more. They're going to pick somebody to trust. They're going to open up and they're going to start um, in, in moments where they feel like they would normally get angry or normally reply in a certain way. They're, they're going to stop and think about it a little bit more and they're going to approach it in a more tender, compassionate way. They're going to try to see it from the other person's perspective uh, more so. And this is possibly because they've recently gone through something similar that before this moment, they have never gotten through anything that broke them down like that. So you kind of don't know how to sympathize with somebody who's never gone through what you've gone through. So this is going to change all that. Okay. And our synthesis for the feminine is endurance. Increase endurance by tempering efforts with rest. Okay. This is so important for so many of us. You cannot be obsessed with this twin flame thing. You can't be like twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, 24 seven. You'll die. Okay. Just don't do it not worth it you're not going to get anywhere like that when you come across a progress say okay good thank you pat yourself on the back let that be enough for the day um when you do uh and when i say progress i'm like you've come to a self-realization you've let something go you aren't mad at your twin for being with someone anymore you aren't mad about whatever you let go of somebody who hurt you in your past you've you've been noticing the signs more any of these things once you've conquered one little piece uh, give yourself the benefit of the doubt get out of here fly please Give yourself the benefit of the doubt, pat yourself on the back, and take a rest for the rest of the day. Let it not be this constant effort. You're going to burn yourself out. You can work on it and then back up for a little bit. And then work on it and then back up for a little bit. Let, let, let your work have some progress on its own. Don't You don't have to constantly be uh, picking at it. Okay, and the synthesis for the masculine energy this month, and remember this is a month-long reading, is Nurture. Uh, nurture yourself to cultivate fertile ground, okay? So uh, too many times the masculine energies forgot how to love themselves. They forgot how to take care of themselves. They forgot how to put themselves first in a positive way. They put themselves first, but in a negative way. Abusing drugs and alcohol, lust, this and that. Put yourself per first in a positive way. Eat better. 
drink some water, drink some tea, go out in nature, work out a little bit, uh, pick up that hobby you always wanted, spend some time with your children, do something for yourself that's positive and nurturing to your own soul. Read a book, write a book, ride a bike, whatever, get it done. You guys are just behind us. Not all masculines, I'm not, that's very general, but most of the masculines are a step behind. It's time to pick it up, okay? This is an extremely amazing month. There's a lot of possibility here. You show so much growth. The women's side or the, or the feminine side shows more like rock steady, kind of keep it going, keep the faith going, and, and you're getting there, you know? But don't don't overdo it, you know? Don't over uh, exert yourself on this. And the masculine side, it shows a little bit of work coming across. But this work is going to be positive. You guys are going to feel... By the end of this month, you're going to be a whole different person in a positive way. You're going to have come so far in one month. You're going to be like, wow, that was the month of change. So please, nurture yourself, cultivate that fertile ground, and uh, love your guys' self, okay? So there you guys go. That is my uh, masculine, feminine, twin flame energy for the month of August 2017. Yeah, there we go. Eee! Have a good day. Bye.